How can I install plugins on my Moodle site? There are four ways to install plugins on your Moodle site. From the admin interface of your Moodle site, by uploading the plugin manually onto your server, by installing via Git, or by installing via the command line interface. In this video, we explore how you can install plugins from Site Administration, Plugins, Install Plugins. In other words, the admin interface of your Moodle site. If you don't see this link on your Moodle site, it means the target directory on your server is not writable, so you can't add plugins to it. Note, it's not possible to install plugins on Moodle Cloud sites, but if you're hosting your site on your own server, you should be able to configure it to allow plugins installation. It might also be possible on hosted sites, depending on your contract with the hosting provider. You should also install your chosen plugin on a test site first before adding it to your live site. This will help avoid any problems such as conflict with other plugins. And it's a good idea to switch to maintenance mode temporarily while installing plugins. From Site Administration, Plugins, Install Plugins, we have two methods. Method 1. Install plugins from the Moodle plugins directory. Clicking here takes us to Moodle.org plugins, where we're prompted to log in to Moodle.org. From the plugins directory, we search for the plugin we want. If it's up to date for our version of Moodle, we'll see an Install Now button. When we click on it, we're prompted to click to install it into our Moodle site. If we're managing more than one Moodle site, the others will be listed here too. From our site, we are asked to confirm we want to make the installation, and when we press continue, the plugin is downloaded and checked or validated, and then if all is well, we can continue to installation. Moodle then performs server checks to make sure our server environment meets all the requirements, and then from the bottom of the screen, we press continue. On the next screen, we have to click the button Upgrade Moodle Database Now and the plugin will be installed. Some plugins have settings which you can define and configure here and you can also do them later. We can view our plugin from the admin interface from Site Administration, Plugins, Plugins Overview, Additional Plugins. And once we've done that, it's important to test that it works as expected. How that's done depends on the type of plugin. Our example is a course activity, so we'd need to go into a course, add it, and test it out. Method 2 Upload a zip file. When we were in the plugins directory, we saw another button, Download, and this is a second method of installing a plugin. You can either download a plugin from the plugins directory, as we'll do here, or you can use this second option to install a plugin that you've got from somewhere or someone else, having checked it for reliability beforehand. From Site Administration, Plugins, Install Plugins, we click Choose a File and upload the zip file of our chosen plugin. If the plugin has been correctly configured, then we don't need to do anything in the Show More section. But if there are any problems, then we can manually select the plugin type and also, if needed, provide the correct name for the root directory. Pressing Install Plugin from Zip File then starts the same process as in Method 1, so we go through the same validation and the same database upgrade until our plugin is successfully added to the site. To summarise, Plugins may be installed from Site Administration, Plugins, Install Plugins, either from the Moodle Plugins directory or by uploading a zip file if the target directory on your server is writable.